Welcome back everyone to more PBS Parents <clears throat> Play and Learn. I know it's been a very long wait for more of the walkthrough videos for this game to appear, but I'm back. Now before I just get started with the next game, which is the um, the restaurant game, basically in part one, one of the things I forgot to show for at the zoo here. At the zoo. Basically I read the parents' tips, but one of the things, things I forgot to read was the um, activities and resources. So I will um, <clears throat> do the restaurant game, which is the next game that I'm going to do. But I'm going to show what there is here for activities and resources. I'm sorry I didn't show you this before, but I'm going to show you right now. So just hang tight before I get started with the next game. Here's for get ready for the zoo. And just like before, you can pause and read the words off to yourself to read what there is here on the screen. If you're not interested in what, what you're reading, just tap the trash button. You can also click favorite if you want. If you want to, f if you like what you're seeing here, here's the one called Map It. Here's the next one called Sizing Up Animals. Excuse me. Here's animal sounds. And that's basically the last one for the, what I showed you for activities. Here's the one for resources. <clears throat> Here's the one called Ladybug Counting. This one's basically uh, Sesame Street, for what is shown for the website. Here's one called Zuzu in the Bamboo. This is basically for um, the cat in the hat knows a lot about that. And here's the one which is Memory Game, which is the last one. This is basically for Curious George. So I'm going to go back in the meantime. Now I'm going to do the next game in the, in the meantime, which is the, um, in, now basically for In the Garden, I basically played that game off camera, but the exclamation, exclamation mark is still there. I don't know how much, how much forward I have to keep going to, um, with that game. But I played it nonetheless. I would go on forever off camera, but it would just take way too long. So I'm just gonna get back to what I'm doing in the meantime. Here's the next one right now, which is called restaurant. Just uh, hang on here, just before I um, continue. I'll tap At a restaurant. I'll tap the screen here, and I'll just go through what there is here for the parent tips and activities. This is the soundbite cafe. I'm just looking up something in the meantime, just hang on, before I get back to what I'm doing here. Okay, that's the tips. Now I'm going to go to the activities here of what there is for, for these tips. Here's the one called Sweet Patterns. Here's the next one which is What's on the Menu. The previous game that I did was basically the one called um, Playtime, where I had to sort the toys into the bins. Here's the What's Hiding. And 
And the last one, which is eating words. And here's the um, resources. Here's one called Create a Pretend Restaurant. This is basically for the show Arthur. And you can tell because the the website that's on the screen for the name of the game and which TV show for PBS Kids. Here's a Peg's Pizza Place for the show Peg Plus Cat. And what's on the menu? This is basically for the show. This is be for dinosaurs. What do you think of the show Dinosaur Train? Well, for ado, let's play the Soundbite Cafe. Play at the Soundbite Cafe. Some animals like to eat foods that have the same sound as their names. Serve the bear a juicy ripe pear. Listen very carefully to the words that that rhymes. Words that sound alike. Move your your finger here. Move the bear food onto the plate. And pear that rhymes. Please give three bees each a bowl of peas. And move your finger to the bowl of peas here, and to give them to the one to the bees. Two, three, bees and peas. That rhymes. This ape wants more than one grape. And here we basically gotta move the grapes here, and to give them to this hungry ape. Ape. And grape, that rhymes. At the Soundbite Cafe, some animals like to eat foods that start with the same sound as their names. The curious cat wants to try something that starts with a k sound. Like cookie basically starts with C. Here, I'm gonna give the cookies to the cat. <coughs> cat and cookies both start. With a k sound, serve food to the butterfly that starts with a b sound. Like here, we gotta give the this butterfly the banana. B b for butterfly and banana. Time for dessert. Serve the distracted dog a delicious donut. And give the donut to the dog. Dog. And donut both start with a D D sound. It's fun to try new foods. These animals need help deciding what to order. This animal would like to try something that tastes salty. What should you serve? And don't worry if it takes you more than one attempt here for what you're trying to um, <clears throat> what you're trying to do here. Just keep trying until you get until you get it right. Something salty. If you're lucky on the first try, that's good. If not, just keep trying. French fries. That tastes salty. This animal would like to try something that tastes sour. What do you recommend? And basically, the more and more these animals will keep appearing <clears throat> when they want something different. Lemon. <coughs> that will pucker his lips. Wait. This animal would like to try a food that is cold. What do you suggest? And for cats and lemon, you, a lot of you may think of the word sourpuss. Ice cream cone. That's cool and refreshing. Do you want to keep playing? I'm good. <clears throat> Click the check mark if you want to continue, or X if you want to go back. I'm going to go back in the meantime. No. Now I'm going to do the next game in the next video. Now also, just before I go here, just before I end this video, now the next game I'm going to do in the next part is Playground. Now just before I go here, basically if you remember the, the game that I did in the previous video, which was um, the toys, 
basically that game reminded me of one of the Sesame Street games on the pbskids.org website. And the Sesame Street, basically the Sesame Street game that it reminds me of is Oscar's Trash Collection, which I'm going to show just before I end this video. Just hang on here, just before I um, end this video. And to show you here, just on my tablet for a minute, base, an Oscar's Trash Collection is basically this game right here. And in the game, you basically got, what you gotta do is you basically gotta help Oscar the Grouch and to sort his junk, basically for his collection. And in the game, you basically have to listen very carefully to Oscar, and Oscar will basically tell you about which items go on which shelf. Like, the blue items basically go on the shelf on the left and the orange ends basically go on the shelf on the right and so on and so forth. And you have to move the star which is the cursor to drag the items onto the correct shelf. Playing the the playtime game which is where I had to sort the toys into the bins reminds me of this game. I thought it would be kind of interesting for me to show you that. Anyway that's the end of this video. I'll see you next part for the next game, Playground. I'll see you then. Bye!